Take a dive. Tie me up like I'm surprised. That's role play. I wear the skies. I want you to park that big Mac truck right in this little garage. Make it cream, make me scream. I don't public, make the In my bag now, in my bag now. What the fuck is that song? What the fuck is that song? What the Mac out, nigga, sound. How to remove background noises during your online classes. So download the Chris app or extension on your device. In order to use it, you need to sign up first. So yeah, go sign up first. This is an example of me trying to video a noise cancellation app for TikTok. Okay, so now let's check the results. Trying to video a noise cancellation app for TikTok. So this is an example of me trying to video a noise cancellation app for TikTok. To use it for your online classes, follow this tutorial. Go to audio settings and then choose crisp speaker and then crisp microphone. For students, try to use your university email for a 6 months pro account free trial. Go to the comments for the link. Dreams, baby, get you and me. It's time to boss up. Fix your credit, girl, get at it, get your bag up. Hit that gym and get back fine. Go get that degree, go, girl, focus on me. Unlock potential that you didn't know you had in you. Fuck that nigga. Hey. Oh, yeah, it's time to mix it up and get your glow, girl. I know that you gon' get it, you got so much. Don't let nobody tell you. Shorty a little patty, she my little bull thing. And Shorty got the fatty, Shorty be catching old swings. Every time I fuck with out a rock. Dreams, baby, get you and me It's time to boss up Fix your credit, girl, get at it Get your bag up Hit that gym and get back fine Go get that degree, go girl Focus on me Unlock potential that you didn't know you had in you Fuck that nigga
Mato fado gentleman My sister just showed me this crazy online hack. Okay, so I had a 44 minute video and I didn't want to have to like, and I had questions about it and I didn't want to have to like watch the whole thing. So you click these three dots right here and then you do open transcript and it'll give you like all of this. Just do click that toggle tran that gets rid of that, and then you have like the whole like script of the video and stuff. And then you hit Command F, and that like brings like this like search bar. And my like adds questions about like Vietnam, so like I search like keywords, so I search Vietnam right there. And then you hit Enter. I'm oh, sorry. And then there's like this right here. I click on that, and it takes me to like that part of the video, or you can have this like. This is answers. crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't be suspicious. 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 Hey yo, back to school check. I can't focus on what needs to get done. I'm on notice, hoping that you don't run. You think I'm tepid, but I'm misdiagnosed. Cause I'm a star. This is how you unblur anything on the internet. If you're reading an assignment and there's blurred out text, right click on the paragraph and go to inspect. When you hover over the paragraph tag, there's one paragraph that's highlighted. The class is blurred. Let's go down here when we find blurred. We're gonna uncheck the filter. Enjoy. Make sure to like and follow for more. Writing an amazing essay is going to impress all your teachers. I'm an English major, which means I have written a lot of essays. My cousin and my sister are always asking me for help, so here's what I tell them. First of all, what kind of essay are you writing? Argumentative, informative, compare and contrast? Something that I find helps you write in a style you're not comfortable in is looking up an essay in that style online and then reading it. It really helps you map out what you're going to do. Once you figure that out, you need to pick a topic. I'm sure your teacher's already given you some guidelines, but it helps to write something that you actually care about because that inspires ideas. Once you have a topic, person, whatever, come up with three subtopics. What I like to do and what I find works extremely is the five paragraph essay. Intro, three body paragraphs, and a conclusion. Easily knock out 2,000 words or more. With your topic, you need to come up with three ideas to write your body paragraphs about. Make sure to include those three ideas in your intro, in the order that you're writing it in. So if your first idea is how Abraham Lincoln is tall, and your second idea is how Abraham Lincoln is honest, and your third idea is how he's a fashion queen, then write that in your thesis at the end of your intro in that order and write your essay like that. In your conclusion, just rewrite your intro and don't add any new information. Like and follow for more. How to ace a book report without actually reading the book. First of all, I just want to say that I actually encourage reading. Look at my library. But on the other hand, sometimes I just I just don't have time for this. I, don't ha I have other classes, Mrs. Harris. Did I read this? No. Did I get 100 on the test? Yes. So this is how I did it. Okay, there are two websites that I normally use. Schmoop.com and Sparknotes. What's great about these websites is they actually do an analysis of the book and make it super easy to read. 
What's also great is that they give you detailed summary. Read all of this. This even gives you a summary on each chapter. Doing this is going to take you less than half the time than it would to read the actual book. And what's great about these chapter summaries is that they're going to give you all the information you actually need. No teacher is going to expect you to know every detail of this book, and they're especially not going to expect you to remember it. You now know the book. This is a great tool to use even if you don't understand a book. Shakespeare's are Reading these summaries really helps you understand it. Need to know the theme? Look no further. Need to know the tone? Look no further. And they even got quotes! QUOTES! The biggest thing is to just know the story. The characters, what happens when. Even if you don't read the book, it's good to have it. So you can look at the page numbers for quotes. Go get A's, like, and follow for more. Dance on the night you've been served. I like a dick with a little bit of curve. Hit this poop with an uppercut. Call it, call it Captain Hook. Ayy, I go shopping. Mm, want it, then I cop it. Ayy, yeah, bitches popping. Mm, I do what they copy. Ayy, look, he's a sweetie. Mm, kiss it when he ate it. Ayy. Guys, stop scrolling. I'm about to show you the hack of a lifetime. Step one, grab your math book. Step two, open it up. Step three, open Snapchat. Step four, locate your math problem. Step five, press and hold in the middle of the screen till that little thingy comes up. Step six, swipe all the way over to the calculator. Step seven, put your problem in the frame. Step eight, press and hold on the problem. And wait. Thank me later. Just leave me for somebody else. Enjoy yourself, enjoy yourself. Don't be suspicious. 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 Don't be suspicious.
They have a lot of options, and you can even learn degrees or get certificates on here for free. If you haven't studied or haven't taken notes for an online class, this is going to save your life. Let's do it. Step one, download all the lectures from Moodle or your online classroom. Go to otter.ai and import video. What it does is it creates a transcription of the meeting itself. When a question comes up online, here's what you can do. Press Command F, search for the word you're looking for. It'll show all the spots that it happened. You can also export the text as a PDF. This was a lifesaver for me. I hope this helps. Hopefully you don't be